Hey guys, it's Anne. Over at Plant Obsessed. And we're gonna take a look in on the big boy here and see what's going on. He had to go on a diet last week. He didn't finish his meal. So let's see what he's doing this week. See a lot of feisty worms. All hanging out on the more or less compostable bags. They are also getting into their avocado. Okay, well, the problem last week was that it was starting to stink a little bit, and I thought that might be they just weren't finishing their food in enough time. So I didn't feed them last week. I said, no soup for you. So this week, we're gonna take a look and look with their eyes, feel with my fingers, smell with my nose, and see if they're ready for more. I really hope they are. Got a lot of food this week. Digging through. Worm density is really good. You can see they're really doing their thing. Keep looking around. Although we're not getting any worm balls, you know, we are coming in to see Stubby and his family. He's kind of rowdy today. Sometimes I think I really should tag and see how long it takes those banana ends to decompose. I wonder if I'm like, I still have like all of my originals. Okay, I'm gonna keep digging and I'll bring you back. All right, I'm back. I have done all kinds of digging in here and now it is time to feed the big boy. Yes. All right. So I have cleared out this whole area here and I am going to give it a really big feeding, but I'm also going to use a lot of buffer. Okay, here is the bait cup, the 48 ounce ice cream cup. I'm going to put that all right here. This stuff has been in the freezer or the refrigerator for a very long time. And I'm telling you, it's nasty. Seriously nasty. I don't want it to start fermenting in here at all. So I'm gonna put that over there and let them work on it. I'm gonna switch sides now and 
feed up the other side. And then I think this is gonna be Big Boy's last feeding before we harvest. All right, another 48 ounce container of slop. Another probably almost a quarter cup of buffer. Cover that up too. I've taken out all of the big pieces, all of the, um, all the bags, everything that's not been kind of pre-digested I've taken out so that I can let these guys just work. So the idea All right, so, Stubby, Stubby and I were talking the other day, and uh, so Stubby and I were talking, and he said that I've given him a lot of food and that we have put a lot of responsibility on this bin just because he's big. And so, what he said is that I'd like some help. If you're going to make me hurry up and eat all this stuff before July, I'm going to need some help. So I said, Stubby, you're right. You and your family have done a great job. And it just so happens that I have some new roommates. I am going to give Stubby and his family new roommates to help them to help them finish up this big, big job. So from the stack bin and the lasagna bin, we reduced the population count, um, took out some big heaping handfuls out of those bins, and this is where I'm putting them. Stubby needs help finishing up this task, and so, his new roommates are gonna help him. So probably just put another two pounds of worms in the big boy bin. And I'm going to cover it up. And I'm going to wait, let's see, beginning of June? What do you think? Let me know what you guys think as to when we should do this. I think uh, July is is too far. I was thinking more along the lines of the beginning of June. So let me know what you guys think about this getting harvested, let's say first weekend in June, maybe the second weekend in June. All right. And so that they feel fancy, just like everybody else, the big boy bin is getting some bubble wrap. Can't remember if it's supposed to be bubble side up or bubble side down. I don't know, it's cute when they get stuck in the bubbles, so we'll put a bubble side down. So, they get their new bubble wrap, they get some new roommates, they got a big feeding, 
and now we're gonna leave them be for a couple of weeks and let them finish up. So the next time that you see the big boy, it's gonna be time to flip him. He's going to flip. So, give me a muddy thumbs up, poke that subscribe button, click on that little bell because you don't want to miss it when this, when Stubby's home, you don't want to miss it when the big boy flips out. Thank you very much for hanging out with me and my worms. Everybody have a good night.